Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 out today. Got some more Guild Wars for you guys. And of course, from Icarus, the joke of the day. Went to prison for something I didn't do. I didn't pay my taxes. <laughs> oh boy, don't you love it? <laughs> The government's always coming after you. Poor innocent you didn't do anything at all. Um, right, so let's go ahead and jump into the first match over here. See Lilius as the um, opener here, along with Senya and Shu. Very standard, typical defenses that people have essentially mastered by slapping Lionheart Sermia into a team, along with some mitigation. But what we're going to try here is a little, something a little bit more aggressive. Let's go for Ocean Breeze Luluka into the Sea Lilius. We have Soul Constellation to help us out in terms of our resistance. And we're going to be cleansing the team and using our um, ice cream truck to run over Senya and Shu. Hopefully, what we're going to be able to do is proc the Senya so that she gives the team a barrier. Now, when the team has a barrier, we can use a Runka to go ahead and one shot her. That would be fantastic. Now, that's something we still have to try out. Don't know if I can do it yet. Well, we'll see. Uh, if we miraculously crit the Senya, then it's not going to work. We also have Midnight Gala Lilius here, and I'm going to try to use her to one shot the Shu. Shu should be the highest HP unit on their team and uh, we should be able to deal quite a bit of damage with some defense penetration. All right, for the bottom team over here, A, Robbie, Meru, and Ron. Ron's going to be the opener, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, A, Tywin over here to cleanse the debuff that will be placed on our team. I think it's going to be the... Uh... Well, actually, I don't know if it's a stigma or a defense break. We'll find out. Um, Ed is going to be here as well to help us out in terms of cleansing. He can cleanse one of the debuffs on himself, so if Ron lands two, a time when cleanses one and Ed cleanses the other, and then we'll be able to uh, try to attack uh, the opponent here with a counter with the S2. I'm bringing Brig just because I think he's going to be funny. I should probably switch his artifact because that's not a good artifact for him to have, actually. <laughs> should put an Elbrus Ritual Sword. Where's that? Um... Yeah, I want to use Brig because I think he'd be funny. And uh, yeah, let's let's give him a go. So hopefully he can actually do something here. Yes, I'll attack now. I don't know who's attacking this right now, but if you were watching this, guildmate, uh, just so you know, um, I hope you win. Because <laughs> this tower needs two hits to take down. So hopefully we'll be okay. Lilia's getting debuffed here. It is fine. Aruka actually getting pushed back. That is okay as well. We're just going to go ahead and do this. And, um, actually that is not okay, because what Senya is going to do is Senya is going to kill. Or, sorry, you're going to provoke my Aruka, and that's not going to be good. Alright, but anyway, um, we pushed up the sh- Ooh, actually, that's kind of bad. Oh, no, that's okay, we got a silence on both of them, so it's okay. We're going to go for an S3 onto the shoe. Hopefully this kills, if not, then, um, oh well. Please kill. Oh, not quite, but we do get to push up and attack buff Arunka. Um, miss on our unit there, that's okay. Let's go for an S3. We have an attack buff with Arunka. Let's go on to the Senya. Right, so even if you don't kill with Lilius, it's fine. If we take them under half health, you will be able to attack buff uh, the team and push them up. So look at this. We get to finish off the shoe regardless. So it doesn't really matter if you can't one-shot them. There we go, very nice. And now that we are stealth, because we did get the kill with Wind Rider, we're looking pretty good. We still have Arunka's attack buff, so let's go for it, S3. Oh, can this kill? Come on, Arunka! Oh, not quite. Hey, but Yuberius' tooth kicked in and uh, finished the job off. There you go, very nice. Uh, hopefully Brig doesn't get too many debuffs here. That's 15% one of them. Uh, that's an 11 KHP brawn, so it's actually probably uh, affected this brawn, so we're screwed. Ooh, defense break is the one that does not get cleansed. Alright, and magic for friends kicks in. Okay, thankfully misses because of the blind on everybody. I do appreciate that, so let's go ahead and kill off the Meru. So that when she revives, I can stun her with the A Tywin. If I can even kill her here. Okay, there we go. She does die. We have Fury. So we get to ignore resistance. And we'll go in on this Apoc, Ravi, and the Meru. She's already done Magic with Friends, so I'm not too worried. There you go. Very nice. And Brig. I will turn Cycle out of his uh, defense break. So we'll S2. Get a barrier. And then we'll S3. I think I'll just S3 into the... 
Do we go into the Ron? Do we need to go into the Ron? I don't think so. Uh, a Ravi is restricted, so she won't get pushed up here. Let's go into her, right? Deal as much damage as we can into her here. Ho oh, ho that's pretty good damage. Alright, and uh, we'll just keep uh, we'll keep hitting this Apa. Just because she's stunned and restricted, we'll get rid of her fighting spirit. Ed's gonna get hit by the Ron, that is okay. We'll provoke the Ron. Oh, never mind, we're not provoking the Ron. Uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Let's hit the Meru, get rid of her. That's a little dual attack that we didn't need. Alright, and now Brig. Can Brig finish off this Apoch Lobby? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, that is beautiful. Can you provoke? There we go. Beautiful. Oh, come on, Brig. <laughs> Great. I love it. Absolutely beautiful there. And there we go. Uh, finish off the tower. Very nice. Alright, so that is it. Let's go into round number two. All right, so jumping into the third tower, let's uh, take a look at um, this one right here. I'm saying third, actually, it's our second match, uh, but the top tower actually fell while I was recording the bottom one. So yeah, we'll be able to open up the stronghold and uh, attack that for our last fight. So for this one right here, uh, we got Mort, Karina, and Aiden. And so I'm going to bring in a secret little weapon I've been working on here, Straze. That's right, with Benny Morrow's Tachi. Got 1k uh, defense, 10,000 HP. Got some attack and crit damage. It's enough to kill basically every tank here in the game. So we'll be using him to open up, and hopefully he'll kill the Great Mortelix. When he does that, uh, Closer Charles will get pushed up. Karina's also going to uh, proc and use a barrier. But Closer Charles will get to uh, get pushed up, and he will be great because he can attack buff the team with his S3. Hopefully his evasion will help him uh, not die to Karina, but hey, he's never dodged before in the past, so we'll see. Uh, and Arunka will also get pushed up. She'll have an attack buff, and she was, she's great into Aiden, and she's also great into Karina. So she'll be there to kind of clean up the mess that is uh, left by the Strazi and Closer. For the bottom team over here, we got Landy, Rimaru, and Shu. So the Rimaru is going to be great for attacking my Krowl and just kind of weakening um, weakening him over here. Oops, my cat is walking at my keyboard right now, so that is fun. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you weaken him and then his HP will get low. We can try to nuke somebody. We also got uh, Lilius right here. So Lilius is going to be great for nuking down the shoe. Hopefully we can get the shoe at the start of the match. And we got Bihu as well. Bihu is going to be the opener. He's faster than everyone else. And his goal here is basically to put the unbuffable on Rimuru. Make sure he can't steal a bunch of buffs. If he cuts, it's fine. Um, but yeah, he if he cuts after Lilius, it's fine. It just uh, We just don't want him to steal the buffs for his entire team. That'd be really bad, actually, if he stole Lilius' buffs. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, see if it plays out as I expect it to, and if not, then we will wallow in shame. Alright, very nice. We have a fast Straze here. Let's go for the S3. It's uncounterable as well, so this Aiden won't be able to do anything. I don't know why anyone thought it would be a good idea to give uh, Strazi an uncounterable S3, but here we are. So Closer Charles gets pushed up ahead of everyone, and he also has an uncounterable S3. Don't know why anyone thought it was a good idea to give him an uncounterable S3, but here we are. Oh, we actually crit the Aiden too! Alright, let's see if Closer dodges. Probably not, I'm sorry, Closer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See guys, I'm just saying, just saying, um, wasn't, wasn't making fun of him for nothing here, right? Just saying. Oh, she's a, it's a counter Aiden! Whoa, that could have been really bad there. Alright, um, this Arunka is not going to go before the Karina, so we're going to have to strip the buffs off of this Karina here. Oh, it's a counter Karina too! Oh my god, we are so screwed. Who has a counter Aiden? Like, actually, counter set Aiden. That is insane. All right, closer's gone. Bye. Uh, that well, that was that was awful. <laughs> Come on, Arunka, you can't die to this Carino, right? Right? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they finished each other off. That was that was kind of beautiful. Straze is the last one standing. That is not what I expected. Did not expect a counter set Aiden. Uh, let alone a um, 
a counter set Karina that can hit Earth units, right? Holy! But yeah, this just goes to show you gotta account for the worst um, that could potentially happen in these Guild Wars. One shot that shoe right there, so that, wait a minute, that means that first shoe that we fought. What, what kind of crack was that, that one on? We didn't one shot that one. Um, <laughs> that's insane. Well, maybe because I had a vigor buff. It doesn't matter if it has a vigor buff. Wait a minute, we ignore defense. Very questionable, very questionable. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, nuke this landy here. We're missing 14k health, so it should be a good amount of damage. And uh, Bihu's S1 should be able to deal a bit of burn damage too, right? There you go. Crown has pretty good multipliers. Oh, very nice. We got the detonation. There you go. All right, and that's beautiful. So we'll just go for an S1 here. And there you go. Right? Lilius will always crit, so into units with anti-crit, into units like Landy who buff for anti-crit, she is also a fantastic option. But yep, second tower down, stronghold left to go. Alright, so for the third and final tower, we're actually not going to fight the stronghold, I'll show you. <laughs> the stronghold is a, is a bit weak, so I don't want to do that here for you guys. We're going to find something a bit more interesting though, and I think this tower here is going to be it. So we got... A full light team on the first team so that just means we get, you get a little I haven't done this in a while and I really want to do it a little edited compilation of Dark Corvus just kind of uh, smashing things right that's gonna be great got Rowana here to give him a little bit of extra health she's on idols cheer too lazy to change her artifact but it should help the Dark Corvus turn cycle a little bit and we got Arwell to help with some of the mitigation and uh, just to keep him alive until he can get his S3 which should not take very long um, on the bottom team we got Para, Ida, and Summertime Assyria so I thought hey Bring in Yoha, she's gonna tank the Summertime Assyria's hits, and that's perfectly fine. But here comes the fun part. We got Ed here, for of course the obvious reasons, debuffs and shenanigans, you're gonna be uh, throwing them right back. And uh, yeah, Champion Serato, speaking of throwing debuffs back, <laughs> he's on a pretty good damage build, and I um, can put him in Proof of Valor so he can survive a little bit better. So now it's time to jump in and see if he does survive. Right, really looking forward to that second team right there. It's um, really rare that you get to have a bunch of fun like this in Guild Wars against some teams that you don't really see all that often. The Sea of Lilius, um, every, uh, we're resisting everything, so that's fantastic. Good for me, though. Alright, and we get to stun. So, I don't really want to stun here, but I just want to get rid of the debuffs from this landy i know you can't stun her but you can get rid of the revive you can get rid of the attack buff or not it oh i see this is a resist landy and a resist celilius gotcha 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 see look yep i thought so when she had 14k health i was a little confused as to why uh she did not have um that much effectiveness but there you go maid chloe is there helping out the team and uh, look at all that. Look at that Dark Corvus. Now the issue is, if Landy goes before... Okay, good. The Idol's Cheer helped out a, uh, quite a bit there. Uh, let's, let's hit the maid. Okay, good. Right, so I think we can go for it. And there's no damage mitigation on the other side, so let's go into the Landy. And there you go, so Dark Corvus doing his thing. Alright, moving on into the second match here. This is the one I was really looking forward to. And let's see if we can get it. Nice, got that Restrict onto that Syria. Attack down on Ida. I don't think you can ask for any, any more. Look at this. Uh, Ida getting shot up though in the combat readiness bar. Para also going for the S3. Got the attack buff there, but it's not going to matter too much. I think there's a stun on this S3 here. So... If Champsy gets hit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, he's immune to stuns. Yeah, that's right. It's not going to do anything there. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and kill off this uh, para, though. This so is going to detonate the bombs, and it's going to hit the Yoha. Should be fine. Wow, that's an 18k HP Ceseria. This guy is trying to trap some people in these Guild War fights, though. Look at that. That's insane. All right, let's go for an S3. Let's go ahead and finish off the... Um, this is Syria. Even though we haven't attacked down, we should have enough to kill. There we go, very nice. And then Ida's gonna go for an S2. This will cause Ed to equip an exchange yet again. Although she does have a skill null. Hey, do we get to see 
No, don't do that. No! <laughs> I want to see Champ Z's S3. Oh, that's fine. Good work, Ed, and good job, Champ Z. All right, well, that is going to be it for this Guild War, guys. Nice and short and sweet, but hopefully you guys got to see a variety of fun little comps that I like to use um, from time to time. With that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time, take care.